Everything I've said I'm gonna do, I do. And now you're along for the ride too. And we can say the matrix, because we can put in the code. We know we can put in the code to get the result when it comes to real estate. We can say that's the matrix. I get the house, the pictures, put it at the right price. I input it, done, right? Now, within that code, people mess stuff up. This is where dishonesty from realtors and business people comes in, right? Well, I can screw this guy over. Oh, I can get a little bit more money here. Oh, I can shave off some, some time here. Oh, I can get a steal a review over here. Their dishonest conduct messes up the code of the matrix because certain aspects of the matrix, if you do it correctly, and all that is, right? Think of it directly in the word. It's a mathematical algorithm, right? If you really break down, again, I know I'm giving real estate examples, but if you look at what we do, is it not like a mathematical two plus two equals four? I get the house, I get it ready, I put good pictures up, I put it at the right price. What does that equal 99.9% .9 of the time? Or actually 100 if all outside variables line up, right? Like if a meteor comes out of the sky and crashes or there's an earthquake, real estate's gonna stop, right? But, but pending all that other stuff, I put in the right steps, what do I get? The result. So I can tell a FISBO or somebody and say, I have objective reality, on my side, meaning I'm honest, I'm ethical, and I do the right things. Okay, now it's coming this way, right? I'm drowning in incense, right? <laughs> I'm gonna like transform into Sub-Zero Watch. <clears throat> but I also know the code of the matrix to get you the result, meaning you could take me out of it and I can hand you this code and you could sell your house, right? So now see, we're jumping between both, trying to handle this person. So when you look at it from this perspective, it gets easy for you to see this. So this is what allows me if we're talking mentally, this is what allows me to talk to a physical or an expire or somebody who's completely out of their fucking mind and isn't aware of it and still keep my cool, right? This is why I don't get caught up with the exception to the rule yelling at me and barking at me, right? Uh, whatever, right? Trans lives matter and fucking uh, fizzbo's rock and all this other shit, right? <laughs> right? Again, whatever you believe in, I don't care. But that's exception to the rule yelling and screaming at me but I'm grounded in these two. I have understanding of the matrix and objective reality to say, okay, I know where that barking is coming from. I know what land it is. It's over there in the corner. You have that small little island while I have this continent of objective reality and the matrix, right? With that said, you have to see it and understand it from that perspective. Now, when, I, when I'm dealing with these people, right? I'm aware that they don't know. Not only are they unaware of where they're at, they have no idea. So where they're coming from, they don't understand. And also their line of thinking, they don't understand. And hopefully you guys can get those two things, right? This is what, again, this will give you, if you're looking for ultimate patience with people, that's this, right? So when I have somebody like on the way over here, I had two people for no reason, honk the shit out of their horns at me for no reason. <laughs> And like, as we're turning, they're still holding it. And I'm literally laughing, busting up laughing. And when one of them drove by me, I waved. I was like, hey, I was like, you recognize me, bro? Right? A complete different reaction, right? Their input was matrix. Oh, white is green. He's not going super fast, right? I'm over here like, okay, I know why he's honking his horn. Not a big deal though, right? So I'm gonna fuck with this now. What's my code, right? I wrote code here. Your own code. What am I gonna do? Well, I can do whatever the hell I want. Why? Because I'm the creator of my own world. And most importantly, I'm the creator of my own experience. So if I am the creator of my own experience, I can give somebody else a different experience, right? So this example that I'm giving to you, now you can roll it into your business. What experiences are you creating, understanding this for your clients and the whole thing? Put yourself in their shoes and say, if I'm operating from the side of the matrix, having no idea, right? And I'm getting emails, videos, texts, and calls from these businesses and social media ads and videos. What am I doing? How am I responding to it? How would they respond to it, right? Because sometimes you guys forget if you're over here, how somebody still within the system is going to respond. Now, again, as I'm saying this, some people will listen to this and their mind will still say, and we're going to cover it right now. Well, we can't talk about people like that. I'm not talking about people like that. I'm talking about a system, a codified system. I'm not personally judging people or trashing them and saying, oh, you're just a zombie. I'm not saying that with hurtful intent. I'm speaking 
from an objective position describing a system and particular set of variables. That's it. Okay? So watch. Before we continue on that particular subject matter, I'll come back to it. We're going to talk about the first thing that I wrote, right or wrong. Remember what I said in the beginning. We all unanimously will agree on certain things. Like if I suddenly was like, hey, let's go kill that guy over there. Whether it's a little kid or an adult or anyone in between, regardless of culture, unless we're talking extremist uh, you know, examples, most people are going to say, no, dude, what the fuck are we going to kill somebody? Right? Just like anybody on here who's either in person or on video. For those of you who still eat meat, how many of you are willing to grab that animal and kill it with your bare hands and then eat the, eat the meat? Now, if any of you say yes, you're the exception to the rule because most human beings wouldn't want to do that unless it's a survival situation, right? So that's in us. I have fucking chickens and roosters at my house all the time. I couldn't imagine grabbing them and fucking ripping its head off or shooting it and be like, oh, I'm going to fucking make this. But again, if I go back to the Matrix side and I just, like I used to for years, I used to eat meat every meal. Go buy the package, cook it. Like, I'm disconnected, right? I'm disconnected from what reality is. You see this? That's an example of this. Going and buying the packaged food, particularly a living being. And again, whatever. You want to eat meat? I'm not trashing. Eat meat. I'm just giving you an understanding. Be at least aware of what it is and say, this is a living creature. Right? And at least acknowledge it for that. So you can remind yourself that you're living outside of that bubble and system that everybody else is living in. So it comes down to this. What happens now? You're getting told what's right and wrong from this side. Everything about what you do is being pushed by society. Right? How many of you are dressing the way the Matrix tells you to dress? So what would the Matrix tell me to do? I can't wear loud colors. I can only wear a suit, right? And if we even get in within that, what are you doing specifically to input your own stuff into it? I wear a suit. Do you guys ever see me, besides maybe once in a blue moon, wear a fucking regular suit? No. I got an orange suit on, a green one, the fucking Joker one. Like, I have fun with that shit. So what am I doing? I'm saying I'm playing within the code, but I'm doing it my way. So I'm aware of what I'm swimming in and what I'm playing in. This gives me more control. This makes me more effective. And this puts you on code, right? This is almost like you have the top-down perspective in a video game and you're like in God mode and you can do whatever you want. Oh, I can just delete this. I can make my character fucking level 1 million, right? Make him strong. That's what you want. I want that position in life as much as possible and get as close to it as possible. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm not, I'm never fully stuck. There has to be a malleability to you here. And again, when I'm speaking, even though I'm giving a few examples like the suit, you guys have to think this is mental. This is mental more than anything. So you can observe and confirm to yourself, okay, I get it. I see two worlds converging right now and I need to understand which one is which, what are the variables, and okay, I need to play in both. Because our life, the majority of it is lived here. Unless you're gonna go live in a fucking tree and meditate for the rest of your life, you're gonna have to deal with the matrix. Social media, is literally a representation of the fucking matrix. Instead of that green code going up and down, what are we doing? We're scrolling. So it is going up and down, but it's just pictures and all the other stuff. It's more stimulating than the code that you see on the screen. But most people, if you replace the, you know, in the movie when the dude has like the six computers and he has all the writing, it would literally be the same shit. It would just be like pictures and a little bit of text. And they would just be watching it go. That's most people living their lives right now. So you're here, you're stuck within it. Because at least that operator is in reality watching the screen of the Matrix. Most people are like this, totally fucking sucked in to where if some crazy shit happened around them, they wouldn't even notice it. They wouldn't even fucking notice it, all right? So let's get down to that, right and wrong. What are some other things you guys can think of that society says, and you can write here or you guys can say in person, that is like pushed, it's the right thing to do. But you know, it's absolute bullshit. And we're gonna get into why it's bullshit. What are some other examples? I want to get you guys involved a little bit. Oh man, how you do your holidays or even late generation? That's a good one. How about this? The fact that I'm supposed to, every person I say, oh, hello, how are you? Who came up with that shit? I understand, right? What do they say? Well, you're just being polite. The moment I say that to you and I'm a stranger, what do you think? You want something. Yeah. You want something. Or who's this fucking weirdo, right? Like. <laughs> 
You, you, you literally are following what they say, but you're eliciting an incorrect response. Why? Because you're off code. Our code operates independent of what society says and everything they've told you to do. You need to analyze the world from that. What's effective, what's gonna get me the result? And the other underlying principle beneath it and the value is without hurting people and doing illegal shit, breaking laws and all that other stuff, right? Right now, we may have to do stuff later on that might break a law, but that's a separate discussion. In your regular living, I need to approach somebody, I'm thinking, okay, matrix says, right, input the data, say hello, how are you? But I know it elicits the improper response. It elicits the improper response, so I need to make an adjustment. Why? Because whenever you're on the code, you win, right? You may not get that initial proper response that you want, but you always win. Same thing with the customer. If I lose a customer on strength from a power position, you didn't really lose them, but they always have the potential to come back. Think about the last time maybe you walked out on an appointment because they were being ridiculous with you or walked away. You're like, you know what? We're not a good fit for each other, right? Now think of another time where you were chasing somebody matrix style, which you're supposed to do, apologize oh, and, and all that other soft shit that they tell us to do. Right? Now think of both situations. How many in the first example ended up reaching back out to you or working with you or telling you to stop, whoa, 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 hold up? And then how many in the second example came back and said, let's work together? I guarantee you for the second one, it's crickets. And for the first one, you probably had a few come back. Why? Because you were on code. And some people are so detached from the real code that they don't even know how to respond to it. Right? You hit a customer with reality when they've been delusional their whole life it may take a while for them to be like, oh shit, you were right, dude. You may have to leave them to the side for three months or six months for them to realize what just happened. They've been living in a fantasy world and here you come giving them reality and it's like, whoa, whoa.